The Tran Dynasty Na Tran, Shane Chow, Tran Tru, ruled in Vietnam then known as Dai Viet from 1225 to 1400. The dynasty was founded when Emperor Tran Tai Tong ascended to the throne after his uncle Tran Tu Du orchestrated the overthrow of the Li dynasty. The final emperor of the dynasty was Thu Da, who at the age of five years was forced to abdicate the throne in favor of his maternal grandfather, Ho Kai Li. The Tran dynasty defeated three Mongol invasions, most notably in the decisive Battle of Bok Dang River in 1288. History Origin and foundation The ancestors of the Tran clan originated from the province of Fujian before they migrated under Tran Kin Shane Jing Shane Jing to Dai Viet, where their mixed-blooded descendants established the Tran dynasty which ruled Dai Viet. The descendants of the Tran clan who came to rule Dai Viet were of mixed-blooded descent due to many intermarriages between the Tran and several royal members of the Li dynasty alongside members of their royal court as in the case of Tran Li and Tran Thua, the latter whose son Tran Tai Tong would later become the first emperor of the Tran dynasty. Their descendants established the Tran dynasty, which ruled Vietnam Dai Viet. Some of the mixed-blooded descendants and certain members of the clan could still speak Chinese, as when a Yuan dynasty envoy met with the Chinese-speaking Tran Prince Tran Quoc Tuan in 1282. The first of the Tran clan to live in Dai Viet was Tran Kin, who settled in Tuk Mac village now Mai Lok, Nam Din, who lived by fishing. After three generations in Dai Viet, the Tran clan became a rich and powerful family under Tran Li, who was Tran Kin's grandson. During the troubled time under the reign of Li Sao Tong, the crown prince Li Sam sought refuge in the family of Tran Li and decided to marry his beautiful daughter Tran Ti Dung in 1209. Afterward, it was the Tran clan who helped Li Sao Tong and Li Sam restore the throne in Thang Long. As a result, the emperor appointed several members of the Tran clan for high positions in the royal court, such as Tu Trung Tu, who was an uncle of Tran Ti Dung, and Tran Tu Khan and Tran Thua, who were Tran Li's sons. In 1211 the crown prince Li Sam was enthroned as Li Hu Tong after the death of Li Sao Tong. By that time the Tran clan's position began to rise in the royal court, having been mentally ill for a long time, the emperor Li Hu Tong ultimately decided to cede the throne of the Li dynasty to crown princess Li Chu Hoang in October of the lunar calendar, 1224. Ascending the throne at the age of only six, Li Chu Hoang ruled under the total influence of the commander of the royal guard, Tran Tu Du. Even the empress regnant's servants were chosen by Tran Tu Du, one of them was his seven-year-old nephew Tran Gun. When Tran Gun informed Tran Tu Du that the Empress Regnant seemed to have affection towards him, the leader of the Tran clan immediately decided to take this chance to carry out his plot to overthrow the Li dynasty and establish a new dynasty ruled by his own clan. First Tran Tu Du moved the whole Tran clan to the royal palace and arranged a secret marriage between Li Chu Hoang and Tran Gun there, without the appearance of any Mandarin or member of the Li royal family. After that, he announced the fate accompli to the royal court and made Li Chu Hoang cede the throne to her new husband on the grounds that she was incapable of holding office. Thus Tran Gun was chosen as her successor. As a result, the 216-year reign of the Li dynasty was ended and the new Tran dynasty was created on the first day of the 12th lunar month Gregorian, December 31, 1225. Topic. Early Tran. After the collapse of the Li dynasty, Tran Tu Du was still afraid that the newly established Tran dynasty might be overthrown by its political opponents. He therefore continued to ruthlessly eliminate members of the Li royal family. First the former emperor Li Hu Tong in the 10th lunar month of 1226, then other members of the Li royal family were massacred by the order of Tran Tu Du in the 8th lunar month of 1232. Tran Tai Tong was enthroned when he was only 8 years old. There were several rebellions in Dai Viet at that time, so Tran Tu Du had to devote all of his efforts to consolidating the rule of Tai Tong in the royal court and over the country. Right after the coronation of the emperor in 1226, Nguyen Nan and Don Thuong rose in revolt in the mountainous region of Bac Giang and Hai Duong. By both military and diplomatic measures, such as sending an army and by awarding two leaders of the revolt the title of Prince Vong, Tran Tu Du was able to put down this revolt in 1229. According to Dai Viet Su Kentucky Tone Tu, Tai Tong and his wife, the Empress Chu Tan, did not have their first son for some time. 
This situation worried the Grand Chancellor Tran Tu Du because he had profited from similar circumstances with the Emperor Li Hu Tong in overthrowing the Li dynasty. Therefore, in 1237 Tran Tu Du decided to force Prince Hoai Tran Lu, Tai Tong's elder brother, to give up his wife, Princess Thuan Thien, for the emperor when she had been pregnant with Tran Quoc Kang for three months. After the royal marriage, Thuan Thien was entitled the new empress of the Tran dynasty, while Chu Tan was downgraded to princess. Furious at losing his pregnant wife, Tran Lu rose in revolt against the royal family. Meanwhile, Tai Tong felt awkward about the situation and decided to become a monk at Yen Tu Mountain in Quang Nin. Finally Tran Tu Du successfully persuaded Tai Tong to return to the throne, and Tran Lu had to surrender after judging that he could not stand with his fragile force. All soldiers who participated in this revolt were killed. Tran Tu Du even wanted to behead Tran Lu but was stopped by Tai Tong. Fujian was the origin of the Tran ancestors who migrated to Vietnam under Tran Kin along with a large amount of other Chinese during the Li dynasty where they served as officials. Distinctly Chinese last names are found in the Tran and Li dynasty imperial exam records. Ethnic Chinese are recorded in Tran and Li dynasty records of officials. Clothing, food, and language were all Chinese dominated in Van Don where the Tran had moved to after leaving their home province of Fujian. The Chinese language could still be spoken by the Tran in Vietnam. The Oceanside area of Vietnam was colonized by Chinese migrants from Fujian which included the Tran among them located to the capital's southeastern area. The Red River Delta was subjected to migration from Fujian including the Tran and Van Don port arose as a result of this interaction. Guangdong and Fujian Chinese moved to the Halong located Van Don coastal port during Li An Tong's rule in order to engage in commerce. The usurpation of the Li occurred after they married with the fishing Fujianese Tran family. <laughs> <laughs> Mongol invasions In 1257 the Tran dynasty was faced with the first Mongol invasion of Dai Viet. At the beginning of the war, the Dai Viet army suffered several defeats by an overwhelming force that had already conquered a vast area in Asia. Several high-ranking officials of the Tran dynasty were so fearful that Prince Kam Thien Tran Nyat Hu, the younger brother of Tai Tong, even suggested to the emperor that they might escape from Dai Viet to the Song dynasty. Due to the firm faith of Emperor Tai Tong, Grand Chancellor Tran Tu Du, and talented generals such as Prince Hung Dao Tran Quoc Tuan and Le Fu Tran, the Tran dynasty was able to drive back the invasion and ultimately re-establish the peace in Dai Viet in the 12th lunar month of 1257. In the 12th lunar month of 1284, the second Yuan invasion of Dai Viet was launched under the command of Kublai Khan's Prince Tan. Dai Viet was attacked from two directions, with Toan himself conducting an infantry invasion from the northern border while the Yuan navy under General Sagetu advanced from the southern border through the territory of Champa. Initially, Tran Tan Tong and Tran Nan Tong had to order the army to retreat to avoid the pressure from the Yuan force when Prince Chu Min Tran Quang Kai commanded his troops to try to stop Sagetu's fleet in the province of Nagian. Meanwhile, several high-ranking officials and members of the royal family of the Tran dynasty defected to the Yuan side, including Tan Tong's own brother, Prince Chu Quoc Tran Ik Tak and Tran Qin, who was the son of Prince Tin Quoc Tran Quoc Kang. To ensure the safety of Tan Tong and Nan Tong during their retreat, Princess An Tu was offered as a present and diversion for Prince Toan, while Marquis Bao Nia Tran Bin Trong was captured and later killed in the Battle of Da Mac defending the two emperors. At the southern border, Tran Quang Kai also had to retreat under the pressure of Sagetu's navy and the defection of the governor of Nghen. This critical situation for the Tran dynasty began to change after their victory in the fourth lunar month of 1285 at the Battle of Ham Tu, where the troops commanded by Tran Nyat Duat, Prince Chu Tan, Tran Quoc Tone, and Nguyen Khoai were finally able to defeat the fleet of General Sagetu. On the tenth day of the fifth lunar month of 1285, Tran Quang Kai fought the decisive battle in the Chuang Duang, where the Yuan navy was almost destroyed and the balance in the battlefield tilted definitively in favor of the Tran dynasty. Ten days later Sagetu was killed and the Tran Emperor Nan Tong and Emperor Emeritus Tan Tong returned to the capital, Thang Long, on the sixth day of the sixth lunar month, 1285. In the third lunar month of 1287, the Yuan dynasty launched their third invasion of Dai Viet. This time, unlike the second invasion, Commander-in-Chief Prince Hung Dao Tran Quoc Tuan assured the Emperor that Dai Viet's army could easily break the Yuan military campaign. 
This invasion was indeed ended one year later by a disastrous defeat of the Yuan Navy at the Battle of Bok Dang on the eighth day of the third lunar month, 1288. Besides Tran Quoc Tuan, other notable generals of the Tran dynasty during this time were Prince Nan Hu Tran Khan Du, who destroyed the logistics convoy of the Yuan Navy at the Battle of Van Don, and General Pham Nu Lao, who took charge of ambushing Prince Togan's retreating troops. Professor Liam Kelly noted that people from Song Dynasty China like Zhao Zhang and Xu Zongdao fled to Tran Dynasty ruled Vietnam after the Mongol invasion of the Song and they helped the Tran fight against the Mongol invasion. The Tran dynasty originated from the Fujian region of China as did the Taoist cleric Xu Zongdao who recorded the Mongol invasion and referred to them as Northern Bandits. Wu Bozong Wu Bozong B. 1334 d. 1384 was sent as ambassador to Annam and wrote down in the Rongjinji Rongjinji that the Tran dynasty monarch said to him in a reply his Wu's inquiry on Annam's affairs where the Tran ruler said that Annam proudly adhered to Tang dynasty and Han dynasty customs. Yu Wen and Nan Shi and Nan Feng Su Chun Yi Guan Tang Ji Du Li La Han Jun Shen Yu Weng Kai Shin Ju Jin Dao Zhou Shi Lin Yen Yen Er San Yu Dao Li Yi Ban Chun Topic. Peace and Southward Expansion After the three invasions, the people of Dai Viet were finally able to enjoy a long period of prosperity and peace during the reigns of Tran An Tong, Tran Min Tong, and Tran Hien Tong. An Tong was the first Tran emperor to reign without facing attacks from the Mongol Empire. Despite the deaths of the two most important generals of the early Tran dynasty, Tran Quang Kai in 1294 and Tran Quoc Tuan in 1300, the emperor was still served by many efficient mandarins like Tran Yat Duat, Don Nu Hai, Pham Nu Lao, Trong Han Sio, Mac Din Kai, and Nguyen Trung Nan. An Tong was very strict in suppressing gambling and corruption, but he also generously rewarded those who served him well. In 1306, the king of Champa, Che Man, offered Vietnam two Cham prefectures, O and Li, in exchange for a marriage with the Vietnamese princess Huyen Tran. An Tong accepted this offer, then took and renamed O Prefecture and Li Prefecture to Thuan Prefecture and Hua Prefecture. These two prefectures soon began to be referred to collectively as the Thuan Hua region. Only one year into the marriage, Che Man died and, in line with the royal tradition of Champa, Huyan Tran was to be cremated with her husband. Facing this urgent condition, An Tong sent his Mandarin Tran Kak Chung to Champa to save Huyan Tran from an imminent death. Finally Huyan Tran was able to return to Dai Viet, but Che Kai, the successor of Che Man, no longer wished to abide by the peace treaty with Dai Viet. After that event, An Tong himself, along with the generals Tran Quoc Chan and Tran Khan Du, commanded three groups of Dai Viet military units to attack Champa in 1312. Che Kai was defeated and captured in this invasion, and An Tong installed a hand-picked successor, but the relations between Dai Viet and Champa remained strained for a long time afterwards. Topic. Decline After the death of the retired Emperor Tran Min Tong in 1357, the Tran dynasty began to fall into chaos during the reign of Tran Du Tong. While being modest and diligent under the regency of Min Tong, the reign of Emperor Du Tong saw extravagant spending on the building of several luxurious palaces and other indulgences. Du Tong introduced theater, which was considered at the time to be a shameful pleasure, into the royal court. The emperor died on the 25th day of the 5th lunar month, 1369, at the age of 28, after appointing his brother's son Duong Nyatla despite the fact that his appointee was not from the Tran clan. Like his predecessor Du Tong, Nyatla neglected his administrative duties and concentrated only on drinking, theater, and wandering. He even wanted to change his family name back to Duong. Such activities disappointed everyone in the royal court. This prompted the Prime Minister Tran Nguyen Trak and his son Tran Nguyen Tiet to plot the assassination of Nyatla, but their conspiracy was discovered by the Emperor and they were killed afterwards. In the 10th lunar month of 1370, the Emperor's father-in-law, Tran Fu, after receiving advice from several mandarins and members of the royal family, decided to raise an army for the purpose of overthrowing Nyatla. After one month, his plan succeeded and Tran Fu became the new emperor of Dai Viet, ruling as Tran Nagi Tong, while Nyatla was downgraded to Duke of Hun Duk Hun Duk Kong and was killed afterwards by an order of Nagi Tong. After the death of Hun Duk Kong, his mother fled to Champa and begged King Che Bong Na to attack Dai Viet. 
Taking advantage of his neighbor's lack of political stability, Che Bong Na commanded troops and directly assaulted Thang Long, the capital of Dai Viet. The Tran army could not withstand this attack and the Tran royal court had to escape from Thang Long, creating an opportunity for Che Bong Na to violently loot the capital before withdrawing. In the 12th lunar month of 1376 the Emperor Tran Du Tong decided to personally command a military campaign against Champa. Eventually, the campaign was ended by a disastrous defeat of Dai Viet's army at the Battle of Du Ban, when the emperor himself, along with many high-ranking Madarans and generals of the Tran dynasty, were killed by the Cham forces. The successor of Du Tong, Tran Fida, and the retired emperor Nagi Tong, were unable to drive back any invasion of Che Bong Na in Dai Viet. As a result, Nagi Tong even decided to hide money in Lang Sun, fearing that Che Bong Na's troops might assault and destroy the royal palace in Thang Long. In 1389 General Tran Khat Chan was appointed by Nagi Tong to take charge of stopping Champa. In the first lunar month of 1390, Tran Khat Chan had a decisive victory over Champa which resulted in the death of Che Bong Na and stabilized situation in the southern part of Dai Viet. <laughs> Downfall During the reign of Tran Nagi Tong, Ho Kai Li, an official who had two aunts entitled as consorts of Min Tong, was appointed to one of the highest positions in the royal court. Despite his complicity in the death of the Emperor Du Tong, Ho Kai Li still had Nagi Tong's confidence and came to hold more and more power in royal court. Facing the unstoppable rise of Ho Kai Li in the court, the Emperor Tran Fida plotted with Minister Tran Nok to reduce Ho Kai Li's power, but Ho Kai Li pre-empted this plot by a defamation campaign against the Emperor which ultimately made Nagi Tong decide to replace him by Tran Thuan Tong and downgrade Fida to Prince Lin Duc in December 1388. Tran Nagi Tong died on the 15th day of the 12th lunar month, 1394 at the age of 73 leaving the royal court in the total control of Ho Kai Li. He began to reform the administrative and examination systems of the Tran dynasty and eventually obliged Thuan Tong to change the capital from Thang Long to Tan Hua in January 1397. On the full moon of the third lunar month, 1398, under pressure from Ho Kai Li, Thuan Tong had to cede the throne to his three year old son Tranan, now Tran Thuta, and held the title retired emperor at the age of only 20. Only one year after his resignation, Thuan Tong was killed on the orders of Ho Kai Li. Ho Kai Li also authorized the execution of over 370 persons who opposed his dominance in the royal court, including several prominent mandarins and the emperor's relatives together with their families, such as Tran Khat Chan, Tran Hang, Pham Ka Vin and Luang Nguyen Bu. The end of the Tran dynasty came on the 28th day of the second lunar month, Gregorian, March 23, 1400, when Ho Kai Li decided to overthrow Thuta and established a new dynasty, the Ho dynasty. Being Ho Kai Li's own grandson, Thuda was downgraded to Prince Bao Nin instead of being killed like his father. The Ho clan originated in Zhejiang province of China. Economy To restore the country's economy, which had been heavily damaged during the turbulent time at the end of the Li dynasty, Emperor Tran Tai Tong decided to reform the nation's system of taxation by introducing a new personal tax, Thuthan, which was levied on each person according to the area of cultivated land owned. For example, a farmer who owned one or two Mao, equal to 3,600 to 7,200 square meters 39,000 to 78,000 square feet, had to pay one quan per year, while another with up to four mouse had to pay two quan. Besides personal taxes, farmers were obliged to pay a land tax in measures of rice that was calculated by land classification. One historical book reveals that the Tran dynasty taxed everything from fish and fruits to beetle. Taxpayers were divided into three categories, minors tiu hoang nam, from 18 to 20, adults dai hoang nam, from 20 to 60, and seniors lao hang, over 60. During the reign of Tran Tan Tong members of the Tran clan and royal family were required by the emperor to take full advantage of their land grants by hiring the poor to cultivate them. Dai Viet's cultivated land was annually ruined by river floods, so for a more stable agriculture, in 1244 Tran Tai Tong ordered his subordinates to construct a new system of levees along the Red River. Farmers who had to sacrifice their land for the diking were compensated with the value of the land. 
The emperor also appointed a separate official to control the system. Towards the end of the Tran dynasty, Ho Kai Li held absolute power in the royal court, and he began to carry out his ideas for reforming the economy of Dai Viet. The most significant change during this time was the replacement of copper coins with paper money in 1396. It was the first time in the history of Vietnam that paper money was used in trading. Topic culture Topic Literature Tran literature was considered superior to Li literature in both quality and quantity. Initially, most members of the Tran clan were fishermen without any depth of knowledge. For example, Tran Tu Du, the founder of the Tran dynasty, was assessed in Dai Viet Su Kentucky Tone Tu as a man of superficial learning. After their usurpation of power from the Li dynasty, however, Tran emperors and other princes and marquises always attached special importance to culture, especially literature. Two important schools of literature during the reign of the Tran dynasty were patriotic and Buddhist literature. To commemorate the victory of Dai Viet against the Second Mongol invasion the Grand Chancellor Tran Quang Kai composed a poem, named Tung Jia Hon Kin Return to the Capital, which was considered one of the finest examples of Vietnamese patriotic literature during the dynastic era. Patriotism in Tran literature was also represented by the proclamation Hitch Tuong Si Call of Soldiers, written by General Tran Quoc Tuan, which was the most popular work of the Hitch appeal, call form in Vietnamese literature. Besides members of the Tran clan, there were several mandarins and scholars who were well known for patriotic works such as Trong Han Sio, an eminent author of the Fu form, or General Pham Nu Lao with his famous poem Thuat Hoai. As Buddhism was de facto the national religion of the Tran dynasty, there were many works of Tran literature that expressed the spirit of Buddhism and Zen, notably the works of the Emperor Tran Nan Tong and other masters of Truk Lam school. Besides the literature created by the upper classes, folk narratives of myths, legends, and ghost stories were also collected in Viet Dien U Lin Tap by Li Te Suyen and Lin Nam Chich Ki by Tran the Fap. These two collections held great value not only for folk culture but also for the early history of Vietnam. Tran literature had a special role in the history of Vietnamese literature for its introduction and development of Vietnamese language literature written in Chu Nam. Before the Tran dynasty, Vietnamese language was only used in oral history or proverbs. Under the rule of the Emperor Tran Nan Tong, the Vietnamese language was used for the first time as the second language in official scripts of the royal court, besides Chinese. It was Han Tuyen, an official of Nan Tong, who began to compose his literary works in the Vietnamese language, with the earliest recorded poem written in Chu Nam in 1282. He was considered the pioneer who introduced Chu Nam in literature. After Han Tuyen, Chu Nam was progressively used by Tran scholars in composing Vietnamese literature, such as Chu Vannin with the collection Quoc Nu Ti Tap collection of national language poems or Ho Kai Li who wrote Quoc Nu Ti Nia to explain Xi Jing in the Vietnamese language. The achievement of Vietnamese language literature during the Tran era was the essential basis for the development of this language in the subsequent literature of Vietnam. Performing arts The Li and Tran dynasties were considered the golden age of music and culture. Although it was still seen as a shameful pleasure at that time, theater was rapidly developed towards the end of the Tran dynasty with the role of Li Nguyen Cat Li Yuan Qi, a captured Chinese soldier who was granted a pardon for his talent in theater. It was Lin Nguyen Cat who imported many features of Chinese theater in the performing arts of Dai Viet such as stories, costumes, roles, and acrobatics. For that reason, Lin Nguyen Cat was traditionally considered the founder of the art of Hat Tuong in Vietnam, which is nowadays a challenged hypothesis because Hat Tuong and Beijing opera were different in concepts such as the way of using painted faces, costumes, or theatrical conventions. The art of theater was introduced to the royal court by Tran Du Tong and eventually the emperor even decided to cede the throne to Duong Nhatla who was born to a couple of Hat Tuong performers. To celebrate the victory over the Yuan invasion in 1288, Tran Quang Kai and Tran Nhat Duat created the Mua Bai Bong dance of flowers for a major three-day festival in Thang Long. This dance has been handed down to the present and is still performed at local festivals in the northern region. Topic. Education and examination Although Buddhism was considered the national religion of the Tran dynasty, Confucianist education began to spread across the country. 
The principal curricula during this time were the Four Books and Five Classics, and Northern History, which were at the beginning taught only at Buddhist pagodas and gradually brought to pupils in private classes organized by retired officials or Confucian scholars. The most famous teacher of the Tran dynasty was probably Chu Vannan, an official in the royal court from the reign of Tran Min Tong to the reign of Tran Du Tong, who also served as royal professor of Crown Prince Tran Bong. During the reign of Tran Tan Tong, the emperor also permitted his brother Tran Ik Tak, a prince who was well known for his intelligence and knowledge, to open his own school at the prince's palace. Several prominent mandarins of the future royal court such as Mak Din Kai and Bui Fong were trained at this school. The official school of the Tran dynasty, Kwok Hak Vien, was established in June 1253 to teach four books and five classics to royal students Tai Hak Sin. The military school, Jiang Vo Duong, which focused on teaching about war and military maneuver, was opened in August of the same year. Together with this military school, the first temple of military men Vo Miu, was built in Thang Long to worship Zhang Zia and other famous generals. Seven years after the establishment of the Tran dynasty, the Emperor Tran Tai Tong ordered the first imperial examination, in the second lunar month of 1232, for royal students with the purpose of choosing the best scholars in Dai Viet for numerous high ranking positions in the royal court. Two of the top candidates in this examination were Trong Han and Lu Diem. After another imperial examination in 1239, the Tran Emperor began to establish the system of seven-year periodic examinations in order to select royal students from all over the country. The most prestigious title of this examination was Tam Khoi three first laureates, which was composed of three candidates who ranked first, second, and third in the examination with the names respectively of Trang Nguyen, Zhuang Yuan exemplar of the state, Bang Nan, Bang Yan eyes positioned alongside and Tham Hua, Tan Hua selective talent. The first Tam Khoi of the Tran dynasty were Trang Nguyen Nguyen Hien, who was only twelve at that time, Bang Nan Le Van Hu who later became a royal historian of the Tran dynasty, and Tham Hua Dang Ma La. In the 1256 examination, the Tran dynasty divided the title Trang Nguyen into two categories, Kin Trang Nguyen for candidates from northern provinces and Tri Trang Nguyen for those from two southern provinces, Tan Hua and Nguyen, so that students from those remote regions could have the motivation for the imperial examination. This separation was abolished in 1275 when the ruler decided that it was no longer necessary. In 1304, the Emperor Tran An Tong decided to standardize the examination by four different rounds in which candidates were eliminated step by step through tests of classical texts, Confucianist classics, royal document redaction, and finally argument and planning. This examining process was abandoned in 1396 by the Emperor Tran Thuan Tong under pressure from Ho Kai Li, who replaced the traditional examination with the new version as a part of his radical reforms of the social and administrative system. Ho Kai Li regulated the imperial examination by a prefectural examination and a metropolitan examination following in the next year. The second degree examination included four rounds, literary dissertation, literary composition, royal document redaction, and eventually an essay which was evaluated by the emperor in person. It should be noted that for the lower ranking officials, the emperor had another examination which tested writing and calculating, such as the examination in the sixth lunar month of 1261 during the reign of Tran Tan Tong. During its 175 years of existence, the Tran dynasty carried out 14 imperial examinations, including 10 official and 4 auxiliary contests. Many laureates from these examinations later became prominent officials in the royal court or well-known scholars such as Le Van Hu, author of the historical accounts Dai Viet Su Kentucky, Mac Din Kai, renowned envoy of the Tran dynasty to the Yuan dynasty, or Nguyen Trung Nan, one of the most powerful officials during the reign of Tran Min Tong. Below is the complete list of examinations with the candidates who ranked first in each examination. Topic. Science, technology, and medicine There is evidence for the use of feng shui by Tran dynasty officials, such as in 1248 when Tran Tu Du ordered several feng shui masters to block many spots over the country for the purpose of protecting the newly founded Tran dynasty from its opponents. Achievements in science during the Tran dynasty were not detailed in historical accounts, though a notable scientist named Dang Lo was mentioned several times in Dai Viet Su Ki Tone Tu. 
It was said that Deng Lo was appointed by retired Emperor Min Tong to the position of National Inspector Lim Fong Su, but he was noted for his invention called Lung Lin Gi which was a type of armillary sphere for astronomic measurement. From the result in observation, Deng Lo successfully persuaded the emperor to modify the calendar in 1339 for a better fit with the agricultural seasons in Dai Viet. Marquis Tran Nguyen Dan, a superior of Deng Lo in the royal court, was also an expert in calendar calculation. Near the end of the Tran dynasty, the technology of gunpowder appeared in the historical records of Dai Viet and was responsible for the death of the King of Champa, Che Bong Na, after the Tran general Tran Khat Chan fired a cannon at his battleship in January 1390. According to the NUS researcher Sun Leichen, the Tran dynasty acquired gunpowder technology from China and effectively used it to change the balance of power between Dai Viet and Champa in favor of Dai Viet. As a result of this Sun reasoned that the need for copper for manufacturing firearms was probably another reason for the order of Ho Kai Li to change from copper coins to paper money in 1396. The people of the Tran dynasty and later Ho dynasty were not satisfied with the imported technology and continued to improve their firearms using gunpowder. The development of Dai Viet technology in using gunpowder resulted in weapons of superior quality to their Chinese counterparts. These were acquired by the Ming dynasty in their invasion of Dai Viet. During the rule of the Tran dynasty, medicine had a better chance to develop because of a more significant role of Confucianism in society. In 1261, the emperor issued an order to establish the Institute of Royal Physicians which took charge of managing medicine in Dai Viet, carrying out the examination for new physicians and treating people during disease epidemics. In 1265 the institute distributed a pill named Hong Nok Suong to the poor, which they considered able to cure many diseases. Besides the traditional northern herbs thuok bak, Tran physicians also began to cultivate and gather various regional medicinal herbs thuok nam for treating both civilians and soldiers. During the reign of Tran Min Tong the head of the Institute of Royal Physicians Pham Kong Ban was widely known for his medical ethics, treating patients regardless of their descent with his own medicine made from regional herbs. It was said that Pham Kong Ban gathered his remedies in a medical book named Tai Y Dik Ben Diseases by the Royal Physician. Another Tran person and fellow countryman of Pham Cong Ban was the monk Tuesday Tin, one of the most famous physicians in Vietnamese history, who was called Father of the Southern Medicine for creating the basis of Vietnamese traditional medicine with his works Hong Nia Giac Tu Y Tu and Nam Duoc Than Hu. Nam Duoc Than Hu was a collection of 499 manuscripts about local herbs and 10 branches of treatment with 3,932 prescriptions to cure 184 type of diseases while Hong Nia Giac Tu Y Tu provided people with many simple, easy to prepare medicines with high effect. Chronicle Topic. See also List of emperors of the Tran dynasty Topic. Notes and references Topic. Further reading Alan Cam Leung Chan, Gregory K. Clancy, Wei Che Loy 2001, Historical Perspectives on East Asian Science, Technology, and Medicine, World Scientific, ISBN 9971-69-259-7 Shapui, Oscar 1995, A History of Vietnam, From Hong Bang to Tu Duc, Greenwood Publishing Group, ISBN 0-313-29622-7 Thien Du 2003, Vietnamese Supernaturalism, Views from the Southern Region, Routledge, ISBN 0-415-30799-6 Hall, Kenneth R., ed. 2008. Secondary Cities and Urban Networking in the Indian Ocean Realm, c. 1400–1800. Volume 1 of Comparative Urban Studies. Lexington Books. ISBN 0739128353. Retrieved 7 August 2013. 
Lockard, Craig 2009, Southeast Asia in World History, Oxford University Press, ISBN 978-0-19-516075-8 Mai Hong Kak Trang Nguyen Nuk Ta in Vietnamese, Hanoi, Education Publishing House Terry E. Miller, Sean Williams 2008, The Garland Handbook of Southeast Asian Music, Routledge, ISBN 0-415-96075-4 National Bureau for Historical Record 1998, Com Din Viet Su Thong Giam Quang Muk in Vietnamese, Hanoi, Education Publishing House Go Si Lin 1993, Die Viet Su Kentucky Tone 2 in Vietnamese, Noi Kak Quan Ban Ed, Hanoi, Social Science Publishing House Pham Van Sun 1983, Viet Su Tone 2 in Vietnamese, Japan, Association of Vietnamese's in Japan Stuart Fox, Martin 2003, China and Southeast Asia, Tribute, Trade and Influence, Allen and On Nguyen, ISBN 1-86448-954-5 Tarling, Nicholas 1992, The Cambridge History of Southeast Asia, Volume 1, From Early Times to C1800, Cambridge University Press, ISBN 0-521-35505-2 Taylor, K.W. 2013. A History of the Vietnamese Illustrated ed. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 0521875862. Retrieved 7 August 2013. Taylor, Keith Weller 1991, The Birth of Vietnam, University of California Press, ISBN 0-520-07417-3 Tham Seong Chi Essays on Literature and Society in Southeast Asia, Political and Sociological Perspectives, Singapore, NUS Press, ISBN 9971-69-036-5 Tran Trong Kim 1971, Vietnam Su Luoc in Vietnamese, Saigon, Center for School Materials Toy at Nung Tran, Anthony J. S. Reed, 2006, Vietnam Borderless Histories, Madison, Wisconsin, University of Wisconsin Press, ISBN 978 0 299 21770 9, Trong Hu Queen, Din Zan Lam, Le Mao Han, 2008, Dai Quang Lich Su Vietnam in Vietnamese, Hanoi, Education Publishing House Wolters, O.W., 2009, Monologue, Dialogue, and Tran Vietnam, Cornell University Library Topic external links Media related to Tran Dynasty at Wikimedia Commons HTTPS colon slash slash ecommons.cornell.edu slash bitstream slash handle slash 1813 slash 13117 slash Wolters underscore Tranvietnam. PDF, sequence equals 1.